Hi and welcome to this um, tutorial on thermodynamics. I'm just going to briefly explain internal energy because it's it's going to pop up quite a lot in internal in uh, thermodynamics. So internal energy is the energy contained within the system that you're interested in. If you're not too sure what systems are, uh, have a look at the tutorials on on system definitions of systems. So if we look at this um, simple system we've got here, I've put a piston in. So imagine it's like a car engine with a piston. Uh, it doesn't have to be, it can be a spring or anything like that really. Now the internal energy is the individual energy that's present in all of these um, atoms and molecules, whatever you've got in there. And they can fly around and they've all got one little bits of energy. And that will be a nice little distribution, some will have a little bit more than others. But overall, uh, the energy is constant within there. Now, the energy will change if we do something to these atoms or molecules within our system. And one way of doing that is to provide energy to the system. So if we've got um, a system which is um, a closed system, where we can uh, add heat to the system. So I'll just add a bit of heat there, and this wavy line's heat. Then what that will do is heat will provide um, energy to the atoms and molecules and make them uh, move around um, chaotically uh, and randomly, but it will increase the energy of the system. So we've put uh, energy in, in the form of heat. Another way of doing it is to um, perhaps push down on the piston. If we push down on the piston, then there'll be uh, not as much room in there for the molecules or atoms to uh, move around. So we've increased um, the energy of the system and increased the capacity for the system to do work. So that is, um, imagine it's a spring, it's probably best to imagine this as a spring. Well, if we push down on a spring, so I'll just draw a spring here like this. So we've pushed down on this spring here. By pushing down on the spring, what we're actually doing is we're, we're moving all the molecules in um, the same direction. So this is slightly different to heat. This is called work. And have a look at the video on heat, temperature and work. And that will explain what all these different terms mean in a bit more detail. But basically, if we do work on the system, we add energy to the system, then we increase the capacity of the system to do work itself. So a good way of imagining that is if we push down on the spring, we've increased the energy within the spring, the internal energy. And so that spring can now do work. It can actually boing back up and push a weight or something like that. So the internal energy is just the energy of all the individual atoms and molecules. If there's a vacuum in there, then there's no internal energy at all, because a total vacuum, there's, if there's no uh, molecular species or atomic species, nuclei, uh, quarks, anything in there, then there's, there's no way of transferring heat or doing work on the system. So the, basically it's about increasing the energy of the individual components and the sum of all those individual components will give rise to the internal energy. And that will take us on to um, the first law of thermodynamics, um, which uh, I urge you to have a look at soon. So bye for now. <laughs>